you are looking to recreate one of those stunning AI animation videos, look no further. Today, I will show you how to create this type of animation with step-by-step -step instructions and share with you my settings so you can generate beautiful visuals with dynamic camera movements. To get started, you'll need to install Stable Diffusion. I've already created a video on how to do this, which I will link in the description below. Once you have set up and launched Stable Diffusion, you will need to install an extension called Deforum. To do this, go to the Extensions tab. Under Available, click on Load From scroll down and find the forum i already have it but yours should display an install button here so click on it and wait for a few minutes after the installation is complete go to the install tab click apply and restart the ui the deforum extension tab will then appear here go ahead and click on it to produce a specific visual style, you will need to download a specialized AI model. For this video, I'm going to use a model called Rev Animated. You can find the link in the description. Right click on download and choose save as. Then go to your stable diffusion folder, navigate to models, stable diffusion, and hit save. After downloading the file, return to the stable diffusion UI, click here to refresh the model list, and then select Rev Animated from the drop down menu. Now we need to change some settings to get the proper output, and I will explain what each of these settings does. You can either do it manually or use this section to load a settings file. Under the Run tab, change the sampler to DPM SDE Keras, set your steps to 25. Increasing the steps will improve the animation quality, so feel free to go higher. I will set my dimensions to 720 by 1280 and later in this video I will show you how to upscale it to a higher resolution. Move to the keyframes tab and set the animation mode to 3D, change the border to wrap. I find it very useful that when you hover over most settings a brief description of the function appears. You can choose as many frames as you want. This will determine the length of your animation. I set mine to 600 frames. The strength schedule setting is crucial. After testing I found that this scheduling works best. So you can simply copy it. The schedule starts with a strength of 0.65. When we reach frame 25, the value changes to 0.55. We will also be using the same scheduling technique in other settings. The motion tab contains all the settings that control camera movement. You can hover over each parameter to see what it does. You can replicate the same movements in my animation by copying the exact settings I'm using here. You can also get creative and use scheduling to change the camera movement and rotation on different axes over time. Scroll down to the field of view tab and set the FOV to 120 for a wider perspective. When it comes to dealing with noise, you will need to change the schedule to this value. I must admit that I didn't come up with this setting and I don't completely understand how the formula works. Full credit goes to this TikTok creator for sharing this setting with everyone. Next, open the anti-blur tab and set the amount schedule to 0.05. Everything looks good so far. Now we can move on to setting up our prompts. You may have noticed that in some videos the scene changes drastically over time. This is achieved by scheduling different prompts at different times. For example, by default, we'll start with this prompt at frame 0. When we reach frame 30, the AI will start generating this prompt. You can add your own prompts to get creative and make your animation more personal. Including specific subjects and style descriptions in your prompt can be very helpful. The following step is very important, as the goal is to begin with your own video and gradually transition to the AI animation. So firstly, enable Use Init to inform the AI that you want to start diffusing the first frame using your own image. Assuming that you have already recorded your video, you can use any editing software to extract your initial image. In this example, I will use Premiere Pro. After importing your clip into a sequence, select the frame you want to start from. To extract it, click the camera icon, choose where to save your image, and click OK. Next, navigate to the exported file, right click, and select copy path and finally paste the path into your initial image. All that's left to do now is set up some output settings. I prefer to set my frame rate to 15. You can enable upscaling if you want a higher resolution video, but this will require more resources. And later on, I will show you another tool that you can use to upscale your video with much more control. And now you can simply click generate to run the AI. It may take some time to finish depending on your hardware and settings. Once complete, you can find the final output saved inside your stable diffusion directory look for the outputs folder then image to image you will be able to see all your deform animations saved here each animation folder will contain individual frames of your sequence 
as well as a video file. As mentioned earlier, the video is in 720p resolution and to upscale it, you can use another AI software called Topaz Video AI, which I highly recommend checking out. To do so, import the animation into Topaz Video AI, choose an upscaling ratio. I'm okay with 1080p since I'm posting this on Instagram, but you can choose 4K or higher, enable AI enhancement. If you want, you can change the output format before exporting your video. And once the upscaling process is complete, you will notice a significant difference in sharpness and detail. Next, bring the animation into Premiere Pro and place it on top of the original clip to create the final video. Next, send the sequence to Adobe Media Encoder choose your target settings, and finally export your video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, hit like and subscribe to let me know you wanna see more videos like this. I'm excited to see what you create with the forum, so be sure to share your animations with me on Instagram or Discord. Don't forget to check out my other AI and VFX tutorial videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.